Hi everyone, welcome back. Today sharing a very interesting Indo-Chinese recipe that's not only quick and easy to make but it's power packed with proteins, vitamins and full of nutrition. Yes, gonna show how to make prawns shezwan fried rice at home in an easy way. Hope you like it. Keep watching. To begin with, I have taken around half a kg, that's 500 grams of medium large size prawns which I have unshelled, deweighed and cleaned and rinsed with water and drained the water completely. Now let's do the basic marination. For that I have added 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder, half teaspoon of black pepper or kale mirch powder, salt as per taste here I have used half a teaspoon, then goes in 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic or adrak lasun ka paste and then 1 tablespoon of shezwan sauce. Now mix all well. I forgot to add the lemon in the beginning so adding it now. So add in the lemon and then mix well again. And we need to marinate this mixture for 10 to 15 minutes. While it's getting marinated let's cook the rice. Here I am using my regular rice that's 500 grams half a kg. Cook the rice with salt as required and little oil and cook until it's 90% done. Do not overcook otherwise the rice will get sticky. It's cooked now. So strain off the water and then spread the rice onto a plate or a white pan and allow it to cool down completely. Now let's move on in preparing the veggies. So here I am using around 2 pots of whole garlic that's lesson. 1 medium size of capsicum that's shimla mirch, then 1 red onion that's piaz, 1 bunch of spring onions and 1 carrot. So we need to chop the veggies into small pieces. In order to save time I am using a chopper here. So firstly goes in the garlic. So pulsing it 3 to 4 times and then you can see nicely chopped garlics are ready. It's perfectly chopped then goes in the carrot and the onions and capsicum. Now let's thinly slice the spring onions. So for that cut the white part and then start chopping the spring onions. You may add any veggies of your choice. I prefer these ones so I am including it. Some like to add also the green beans and cabbages too into their fried rice. It's completely up to your choice. As you can see the spring onions are chopped. Similarly chop the white part of it. Once all are done, just keep it aside. And you can see all our veggies are ready now. Now let's move on to a cooking process. For that preheat a wok or a white pan and then add little oil and break in two eggs in there. We are gonna scramble these eggs now. So for that sprinkle little salt and little black pepper powder and then start scrambling the eggs. If you don't want eggs into your fried rice, you may skip this step completely. However, I like to have it, so I am including it. Now the eggs are scrambled well, so transfer it to a plate and then keep it aside as we will be using it at the later stage. Eggs are done. Now let's move on. Now into the same wok, Add around 2 tablespoons of oil and once it heats up, add in the marinated prawns. Keep the flame on medium and then I am going to cook it into 2 batches. Fry these prawns for 3 to 4 minutes until it's cooked. Do not overcook the prawns as it will get harder and it won't taste nice. Look at it, how beautiful it looks. It's also very flavorful and it's irresistible and tempting too. It can be also had as a starter as it tastes super delicious. Now prawns are cooked well, so strain them off and transfer it to a plate. The first batch is done now. Then fry the second batch the similar way. There are various ways to make a fried rice. This is my favorite version, so sharing it with all of you. So do try this out and you will truly enjoy the taste as it tastes super delicious. Now second batch is also done. So strain them and keep the prawns aside. Now into the same oil, add in the chopped garlic and keep the flame on medium high 
and we're going to saute the garlic for a minute until raw aroma goes away. Then add the white part of the spring onions and the chopped red onions. Now saute the onions. Remember we don't have to soften the onions here or make it brown. We just need to saute it for a minute. Add little salt and mix well. It's been a minute now. So add in the chopped carrots and stir it for a minute. The aroma from the garlic and other veggies are super flavorful. The carrots are sauteed well. It's time to add in the chopped green capsicum. Stir again and then saute for a minute. Remember we don't need to cook the veggies completely as there needs to be little crunchiness while having the fried rice. So now it's time to add little spring onions. So I'm adding few spring onions here and the remaining keeping it for garnishing. So mix well. Then adding little spices that's around half a teaspoon of black pepper powder and 3 tablespoons of Shazwan sauce. Now mix the sauce and cook for a minute. Some like to add food colors to the fried rice, especially in the restaurants they do so. However, I do not prefer it in my fried rice, so I have skipped it. If you want, you may add it. Now it's been sauteing for a minute. So it's time to add 1 tablespoon of tomato sauce. Add the tomato sauce and mix it well again. After a minute, it's time to add the cooked rice. So at this stage, add the cooked rice which is completely cooled down. Then mix everything gently until all the mixtures are well coated with the rice. So gently mix and see how fluffy the rice looks. This is how we want. If you overcook the rice, this fluffiness won't come and it will start sticking. So cooking the rice into a right consistency is absolutely required. Now the mixtures are coated well and this is how we want. A super fluffy, a perfect fried rice. As the fried rice is ready now, spread the scrambled eggs followed by super fried prawns. Isn't this look super yummy? Trust me, it tastes super delicious too. After spreading the prawns, finally garnish it with remaining spring onions. Look how beautiful this looks. Now mix everything gently again and that's it. A super awesome, flavorfully delicious Prawns Chez One fried rice is absolutely ready. It's a complete power pack meal as the proteins from prawns and eggs and nutrition from veggies makes this dish a super healthy one. This Indo-Chinese recipe is not only quick and easy to make but it's also super flavorful and tasty too. It's a very quick recipe which is a surprise treat to yourself and your loved ones. So do try out this recipe. I love to serve the dish with Szechuan sauce. You may also include soya sauce if you like it. Just add little Szechuan sauce while having your rice and you will simply start loving it. Hope you like this simple Indo-Chinese recipe. If so, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also like and share it. Soon we'll be coming up with another interesting recipe. Until then, take care of yourself. Happy cooking. Bye-bye.